Review time again. What I've got here in front of me is an a is a Academy one to thirty five. I one to thirty five. Yep, one to thirty five. German heavy tank Tiger one early version. And this kit, first of all, I want to say this kit from Academy. It's probably one of the favourite kits that I actually do have in my stash. Um, if you want to detail up a tank. I mean, I recommend this kit. It's just jam-packed with detail. It's a uh, one of those open up and show the details inside. So the first thing you can is oh, come on, camera, be good to me, mate. Um, first thing you notice is on this first picture here, the top of the turret. Um, you can take off, and the detail inside is just yeah, it's just insane. So if you love just displaying um, your tanks or anything like this, this is, I would definitely recommend this kit straight away. So these are just some of the pictures on the side. So I mean, it depends on how good your modeling skills are. Um, yeah, you can just make this thing look absolutely wicked. I mean, obviously you can also add more detail to yourself. So like. If you've got really good reference pictures, got good video reference, good books, um, yeah, you just have a field day with this thing. So we open up this box, I'm actually zoomed out a fair bit, because this thing is just, it's a pretty big box, it covers up my whole my hobby desk, modeling desk. Well then, mind you, my desk isn't very big. <laughs> Okay, so this is not a original packaging, like I've just opened this up so many times, had a look at it. I've had this for a couple of years now. Um, you get your, obviously, you get your standard um, Academy decals. I mean, for the time I've had this kit, they've held up pretty well. So you got your. Uh, bit of light. Well, you can't, these are pretty hard to see because they're white. But you got your second SS Panzer Division, you got your first SS Panzer Division, and then you got your what is that? Uh, S Panzer ABT 502. I'm not too sure what that is. I'll have to look that up. So you got your common decals. SS Panzer 504. Oh, so that's it for another. I see all the different squadron markings here. Okay, so they're a little bit glossy, like they're not over the top ridiculous, ridiculously glossy. So they should be all right. No need to stress about them. And then you obviously got your thing from Academy, your warning. Basically, don't drill your eyeballs out. Um, don't paint your teeth with paint. Don't glue plastic parts to your face, and yeah, don't give these things to kids under three years old. Read the instructions. Instruction, uh, instruction manual. Nice thick. It's a booklet style, and tech specs on this thing. That's actually quite a nice picture on the front here too. So if you want to photocopy it and. Blow it up and stick it in your hobby room some. We can do some colouring in if you're bored, if you're drunk one day. Get your kids' colouring pencils out. Yeah, so I think that's Korean, I believe. So I think that's in Korean. Pretty sure Academy kits are Korean. And obviously, text based in English. And kit numbers 1348. I think. Yep, 1348 is your kit number. And starting off, um, bottom hole, you've got the suspension, or the indiv individual suspension um, for your wheels. Inserting, you've got your road wheels, obviously with your colours, and I even always forget to, get to do this too. I'm pretty bad at it. Um, do they have it? And there's the instruction book. No, just kidding. Um, they don't. Or is it on the box? 
Oh, that's going to be horrible if that's the case. Okay. Unless I'm that blind that I can't see it. Just bear with me for a second, guys. Okay. Um, here we go. That's really clever. They've got the colour call out on page 18. So, pretty much on the 20 page instruction book. So, page 18, um, you've got your colour call out. So, they've got it in English, French, German, Spanish, and Italian. Um, there's no, like, they haven't. There's no specific brand of paint, it's just you, your colours. So, they're, what they're asking this kit is black, silver, gunmetal, um, metallic, which is could be anything. Metallic, um, could be, I guess it's silver. Um, grey, light grey, red, yellow, blue, orange, green, brown, flat, and clear. Random. Okay. So it's a wheel assembly, so you're going to go through your colours as you go along. With a kit like this, what I've actually just get it run around the colour in pencil and sort of just mark out what the colours are so I can just look at them pretty straight away. Because I don't really go flicking back through this page every time I want to paint something. And yeah, so you rehatch. And all the torsion bar suspension is in here. Air filters goes on here. And the engine assembly. So I mean, you have fun with that if you want to add more hoses and wiring to it, you can. Um, you got your transmission assembly. And you just got to be aware too of this kit. There's a lot of there's a lot of pieces in here that it, it does say um, do not glue because obviously later on during display during your display um, purposes they just basically pop on and off and it's really nice black and white photo of, of the um, engine going to the drive sprocket and just there so you've got some rough idea what it looks like We got the radiator, your MA stowage. I mean, the draw instructions are really nicely detailed too. Like they're very easy to understand, and they've sort of um, bold printed, I guess, bold outlined the um, all the parts that are going in and everything else that's already sort of what you already pre-assembled. And what you're putting on onto is um, yeah, just standard um, standard thickness, but everything else is in bold, so you sort of know what you're doing. And you actually get a bit of photo which here too for the engine engine grills. That front hatch, open position, engine axis hatch, and it's just a cutaway view drawing. So you can have a I'll show you. Oh, if I can zoom, go back a bit. Yes, yeah, so that's really nice. That's a nice touch. So obviously, yeah, they've just got things marked out. So you got your fire extinguisher there, and uh, so your fuel cans go there. Gas mask, canteen, you, there, like. You get the gist, so if you, once you get to this page, it's the middle page, it's the centre fold out. You got all your hand tools, yeah, and the shovels, axes. And it shows you where to go on the top, on the top of the deck there. Individual uh, tank treads, which is a big bonus. You actually get a guide in this too, so you get a straight edge for this kit. To, um, but I'll show you that in the kit later on. 
to uh, put your tracks together so they're straight. Your tow cables. hoses to your air filters and this from where is it now so we're up to stage 19 and we begin to put the tarp together they even got like um, sort of cutaway drawings left and right rear and the placements of all the parts so yeah you can't can't really go wrong as long as you sort of take your time and um, look at the drawings you can make notes down here, there's plenty of space to write down notes and things if you need to, if you're a note writer like myself. So you've got your jerry cans, water cans, and then one, two, three. It's nice how the handles are separate too, so like you get, so you're able to paint all the, in, um, the, the top of the fuel can, uh, not fuel cans, the uh, water cans. That makes it life easier. So your deck plates. And it's nice how they lay everything out. So like yeah, you're not trying to guess where it all goes. It's you sort of put your piece here and then look at it and then you know. It makes life very easy. Very well thought out instructions. So you got your hatch, hatch assembly. Now once again they've got another um, black and white photo of the sort of the turret being put put together. I mean, it's just a good comparison photo, so you make sure it keeps you on the right track, you know, that you haven't put anything in the wrong spot. I mean, I mean you'd feel like a, an idiot if you put an engine in there and you sort of go, oh, there's no engine in there. <laughs> there's a, the top of the top plate for the turret. So obviously it says there, do not glue, so that just pops on. And obviously with this kit, the turret can articulate left and right and you got last page here you got painting and decal placement and so it's, it's all pretty clear you know like it's it's all pretty well actually a nice instruction book and on the back we got our parts lo locating diagram so, I won't go on too much about that. Alright. The only bad thing about doing big kits, the reviews take forever. Okay, we'll start off with the tracks. Okay. I'm trying to sort of get through this without being too thorough, but not sort of skimming through it, you ain't seeing nothing. I should get one out, I'll the rest back in the bag. And then, and also with the packaging too, like it's you're probably getting about two sprues, two sprues per bag. And and you get with the tank trays themselves, you get like four sprues. Yeah. Couple injector pin marks on inside, but maybe you can. I, th I think you can send them back. I mean, I probably will. But if you, you know, if you weather them and start putting mud on you on the on the tracks, it'll probably you'll probably hide most of it. Yeah, just no flash, and pretty much. I mean, there's tiny mould lines, but they're all in the in the right spots where you know, your tracks join together, or your track links join together, and sort of bang bang, and the the mould lines are sort of in there, so you don't really see them. Uh, Won't get this out. What's this? 1996. So this is a pretty old mould. Oh kit. But it's still still pretty good for its age. 
you can't complain about it. I, mean, I haven't really seen any new, what the new um, Tiger ones look like. So I'm basically I'm just saying what I've got in front of me. I mean, you de you're definitely going to sand that off. So you just sort of get some, you know, get a sanding sponge or some wet and dry. I guess sort of hit it first with a bit of heavy sand and then wet and dry it and it should be gone. Yeah, a few marks, just sand them out, a bit of filler, you'll be right. She'll be all good, mate. Yeah. Detail's not too bad. Time will tell as we get further into the kit. Uh, ah. So we've got here, we have a couple of mirrored sprues. So I'm going to show you one. It's going to be absolutely pointless going through both. Yeah, so you've got, I'm not too sure if that's your radiator fan. Yeah, it is. So that's all your radiator fans in here. And here you have, you have. So that's all part of your suspension here for your, for your road wheels. Injector pin marks on the inside. Oh, hang on. That's, so that will be on the inside. And they will be, so these will be on the inside. There's a bit of, like, there's all cavities in there, obviously. Just to save plastic, maybe. But then on the outside, where your road wheels go on, you've got all these injector pin marks there. But you know, I don't think you're going to see them. You can send them back. I think I'll send them back. Just for detail's sake, and may as well just take the time with this kit. I mean, models are about having fun, isn't it? So, and yeah, so all the injector pin marks there. Once the wheels go on, you're not going to see them. And yeah, so this, I'd say this would be for there's some kind of drive shaft here. Bit of a mold line on here. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, a little radio. Think. Yeah, that's really good. yeah, it's a nice little touch, like little little German water bottles. And if you if you guys build um one to thirty five scale, or even if you just build like built German soldier troops before, you know, there's pretty much your standard issue water bottle. Um, whatever they are, hang on. No idea what they are. I mean, I haven't painted a German figure for probably about ten years, so. But I remember painting a heap of those, a heap of those. Right. I'm gonna get cracking through this kit because we just look down in the box and there's a ton of plastic. Therefore, uh, oh. I could cut my fingers off. Because that would suck. Trying to paint like that. Not a good thing. Um, photo etch. So this is the photo etch you get for the grill. I'm not going to take it out. And if I can take away some of that glare. I mean, yeah, it's photo etch. We've all seen photo etch. And... So here's your air filters. Yeah, they're nicely detailed. No flash on them. But they're, they're two, um, uh, yeah, so they're two halves. So you are going to have a seam line to deal with when you put them together. It would just be a little, a little light sand. And, and here's all your tools. I mean, the tools are really nice, actually, so... Um, so there's your shovel. Your shovel's there. And you got little things like little hammers. 
X. Uh, let me find it. Where is it? So you get two shovels. You get a big one, and then you get your short-handled shovel. And then a pair of pair where they bolt cutters, maybe. Yeah, y cutters. I mean, they're all nicely. Yeah, so like that's the width of my thumb. Yeah, so they. But so I just love detailing them. And here, obviously, this is all interior. Wow. 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 Yeah. They even get like they even. They even get like. Um, bloody foot pedals and things in here. Little foot pedals for the driver. Um, teeny tiny dot thing right there. I have no idea what that is, but yeah, just really nicely detailed. For a kid of its age, like 1996, I mean, you can't you can't argue basically if, you, if you're comparing it to like a brand new kit with all today's kits with all the new toolings and stuff, I mean I mean, it's still a very, very nice kit. You see all your dash panels, raised panel lines. Yeah, I'll show you that. That's actually really nice. You can actually see like the needles and... Yeah, so... If I, if I can get in close enough, if this thing wants to zoom in... That's... Yeah, that's probably about four inches from the lens but yeah you actually see get some light against it flick around you know you can see so your road wheels um, oh well that's a nice touch I will show you this, and I've never noticed this before, the amount of times I've actually opened up this box and just looked through the bags, but this is the first time I've actually opened this kit in about, uh, it'd have to be five years, I've had it in a stash, I've never really opened it up, but the um, all the hoses that you get to go to the air filter from the top of your, where it comes out the back of the deck there, the top of the turret, they're actually rubber. I've never noticed that. So, I mean, that's yeah, a nice realistic touch there. But there are mole lines, like a seam line on the edge, that you'll have to deal with. But, you know, like just a simple scrape with a sharp blade, just carefully scrape on the edge there, you'll get rid of it. I wouldn't sand it, personally. Like, you'll probably lose a lot of detail because the actual, the, um, what do you call it? The detail on the hose itself just is very, very fine. I mean, I, mean, I wouldn't even use a, a polishing um, polishing pad on it. It's just a did you'll just lose it. So you're better off just getting a um, a really sharp knife and just gently scraping it, scraping it away. Um, so we got two. So that's basically we in here. So you get all these poly caps. Um, yeah, I won't dip, play with these too much because I don't want to lose these. These are all for your wheels, obviously. Um, your wheels turn, but I don't know how that's possible. You'd have to, though. Is there anything about the tank tread? Because there's nothing. Actually, let me have a look at these tracks. Do you have to pin them in? Are they glued in? Are they clicking? I think they, I think they're glued in. So I think they're just spaces, maybe. But there's your shells. Shells are quite nice. Are they one piece or two piece? Yeah, they're one piece, so you don't have to join them things together. So you're not going to get like a dirty. Dirty, dirty join line in it. 
I mean, heaps of wheels, so obviously, if you've seen one of my, I think, what video was it? On my egg plane video, um, I actually show you one of these. It's the template I paid five bucks for. Not even five dollars, so that's why I'll be using that to paint the wheels. Just painting tank wheels individually with a paintbrush, or even having to mask them off. Sucks. Sucks balls. Uh, that ain't gonna happen. Alright. Almost coming to an end down to the last four sprues, I think. One, two, three. Yep, four. So we've got four to go. Uh, engine hatch. And. Oh, that doesn't move up. So that's where, obviously, that's where the fatter witch goes on top of these. I mean, that's nice detail on them. Yeah, top where the turret goes. And. Yeah, uh, the rear rear armor panel for the back, and so obviously um, you can see you can see when you take this is the panel that comes up. I think um, not too sure. Let me double check. Bear with me for a minute. Sure does. This panel, when it goes on the tank, you don't glue this down. Obviously, th this just sits, plop, just sits on top. And you can just take this off. So, if, um, you may want to just sort of put a bit, bit of extra um, varnish around where it goes on and off, but not too thick, because obviously it's going to be a, too tight if you put too much varnish on there. But just protect it. And if you want to, people, if you want to sort of show people all the time that what's it looks like inside, or you just want to look at yourself. Yeah, I, I recommend protecting a bit more. Yeah, it's really nice detail for it. Like I keep saying, for the edge of this kit, you can't really fault this kit. No. I mean, there's just detail everywhere, like absolutely everywhere. You know, you get some kits and there's just some panels are just blank. And you're like, where's the detail? What am I doing? You're supposed to add it yourself. But um, go away, you. Yeah, just these just examples of the parts on the sprue. And like, I'm really, really happy. I'm really happy with this kit. I really want to build it, but. It's just one of those kits where I'm just, I don't want to have any other projects on the go. It's just, I want to concentrate on this one because it is such a big kit. And there are so many parts. So, there's those two screws. So, we're getting, getting down. Final two. Last bag, and there are no clear parts. I don't think there was a clear parts screw with this, so double check. Nope. Which is strange, but you can always use. Um, I normally use this if you need to make any glass. I normally use it to test this um, clear parts cement window maker. I mean, it works. It works good. Like it's, it's kind of like. Um, wood glue PVA but it's just a lot thinner and it dries really really clear too so and I've had that for years um, turret walls what can I say about these um, you actually see the weld details well, I've actually got weld details really fine weld details on this and I'm not talking about like weld details um, from the model, I'm talking about world details that are on the actual tank, on the real life tank. So around here, 
I, mean, these are, I don't even think the camera will pick this up because the details are just so small. But hopefully it does if I can. Yeah, just up here. You can see it. Just there's actually like individual, 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 individual weld beads on here, and even down here. Like it's really nice. But being um, two halves, yeah, you're gonna have like a big join line out the back. And luckily, there's not much detail on the side here, so you should be able to get away with um, yeah, sanding it. But then you're gonna have your your back box at the back here that goes on the back here, back of the turret. So this thing here is going to hide a lot of the join lines on there. Um, you got your barrel mount here. I mean, it's a pretty, pretty big, fair whack of a size. Of a, you can see the size of my hand. Like even my thumb. I've, I've only got small hands. So if I use a prime example, you know, here's a um, 10 mil um, Tamiya, just a Tamiya pot. So you sort of compare it, you know, like with that, with the turret, and there's. You know, the, the, um, like it's a pretty big turret. And hatches. And barrels. Uh, it's the only thing I hate about some tank kits. How the barrel's in two pieces. But then I guess it's a good thing because you can paint inside. Like you can paint all the soot effects and everything on the inside like this is the inside of the barrel all in here but then you've really got to be careful how you join it because you want all the recess lines and things like that to line up and then when it comes to sanding it yeah sometimes it can be a nightmare if the plastic's warped but it's how uh, plastic's pretty straight yes yeah, so that's that sprue last sprue um, doo -doo 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 -doo. there's your deck plate deck plate's nicely detailed and there's almost next to no flash on this kit I mean like and I keep saying I've had this this is an old kit and whether it was a new tooling at the time like it was an at the time of um, when it it was released so the mold was still nice and tight <coughs> Yeah, so the weapons on here are fairly well detailed. I mean, it wouldn't take much. Um, I mean, it wouldn't take much to. Um, there's only like tiny mold lines on here, like just see mold lines on the edge of that. But they they are one piece, so it wouldn't take much to get a small drill bit. I obviously sand the front down so she's flush, and just whack a small drill bit in the front and just drill the barrels out. And there's your deck plate, as I was saying before. Yeah, there's a bit of bit of a weird join line there, but realistically, you're not gonna you're not gonna see it because obviously, where all these little inserts are is where you're gonna put objects um, or glue down more detail so that hides it, and then when you wash it and Put washes down, paint it, and things like that. If you want to put pigments in there too, like um, mud, not too much. You're not gonna like to cram pack like like if you've been four wheel driving or something out in the bush. But you will hide. So you worry about it. You will will get hidden. And that's pretty much it. Um, well, that's enough blabbling on by me. But that's just a sort of a fairly detailed review, not too detailed, but I try to show as much as I can in sort of a certain time period, time frames. So I don't want to crap on for an hour. But um, yeah, so that was a review on this kit. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope it wasn't too long. That was it. So if you want to get this kit, I highly recommend it. It's going to be a 
fun kit if you really like detailing things and spending a lot of time in a kit. So thanks for watching again and um, see you on the next video. Catch you later. Bye.